Well, I was just in my debut of an automobile accident. That wasn't too fun. Um, just not a good time right now. What a way to get close to the new year, huh? Whew. This, this is an interesting deal. The rear end of my car got cracked up. For, not even cracked up. Rear bumper shot. Kind of the, uh, the, the rear fender area got smashed and just like digging into the rear passenger tire. Ripped it, you know. This, this is, this is gonna hurt. You know how normally you'll complain, like, ah, oh, damn it, my car needs brakes, which my car, you know, kind of needed brakes. Keep in mind, I was rear-ended, and I struck nothing. Anyway, uh, it was like, sure, every day you complain, you know, this part of the car, oh, I need this, I need this, uh, I'm leaking oil, this, I need to get that fixed. Air conditioner went out, and this is Florida, South Florida, gets hot down here, gotta get that fixed, but... Man, you get into a decent crash like this. Thankfully, to my knowledge, like, no one was really hurt. The the person that, you know, was responsible for all this, they were gone and in an ambulance before I could even get, you know, to, in, you know, exchange information with them. So, but the uh, police of Fort Lauderdale, you know, helped out pretty damn good. Uh, you know... They gave me their, there's like a case number involved in all this, and I don't know if the guy was drunk, I don't know, it's that stupid cliche where like, it all happened so fast, and yeah, that's exactly it. Just driving home, I, w I just got off of I-95, which is kind of where you think that kind of stuff would happen, you know? But I just got off I-95, I'm heading sunrise east towards the beach, ready to get home, and you know, I just real quick just noticed these uh, headlights that came up behind me, I just kind of noticed it in my rear view, you know, just kind of peripheral really quick, and all of a sudden, just bam, and my first thought was, you know, holy shit, I just got hit, you know, pretty decent, too. And it's kind of fuzzy from there, because whatever, the shock and all, you know, it happened so fast. But this, this car, and, and like that part of Sunrise, it's kind of divided highway, right? This guy hits me, right? But managed to just keep going, and like was speeding past me and th granted it only took a few seconds but this dude like jumps the median because we were all going the same way like i said i got rear-ended so it's not like this was some crazy cutting through the intersection kind of thing or nothing like no i, I get rear-ended by somebody and he flies up and he's pulling away jumps the median basically into oncoming traffic and eventually boom runs into a building Runs into a building. I'm like, dude, if you want to get to the drive through that damn fast, just honk and I'll get out of your way. You know? But the building stopped him. That's how fast this mf -er was going. I mean... And granted, it's, uh, I can't say that he was going like 60 or nothing like that. Because even... You take that ramp, sunrise, uh, east, heading towards the beach, and you're still... You're, you're merging with everybody and you're just fine. And it's, you know... You're doing probably 30 around that spot. You no, know, that, that's that's typical. The lights weren't red. It's I wasn't parked at a red light or not. This is free flowing traffic, and just cruising. Yeah, whatever, thirty miles an hour, standard, standard around that area. And this happened six thirty, right after the Dolphin Jet game. You know, maybe he was angry about that. I don't know. But this, like, when I looked on my phone when I called nine one one, that was like six thirty four evening, right? So. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. And jumped the median and ran into the damn... Ran into a, uh... Yeah, fast food joint, you know. The building stopped him, essentially. And he hit the corner perfect. So it's like, whatever, if there's a support beam there or something, because... Honestly, like, if he screwed up my car and two other cars at least, that's what I saw, you know? Like I said, because that's a divided highway, I was not able to cross the street and talk to him, question him, or anybody else he may have, you know, injured, hurt, or, or contacted, you know, whatever. Uh, and he was taken out ambulance style real quick. And just, yeah, it all, all happened so quick. Stupid as cliche, but, you know, this was my debut for, 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 a, this is a crash. This wasn't just, you know, I used to live in Wisconsin, and, you know, I needed to make a turn, hit the brakes in the middle of winter, and it's ice. I'm just going to keep going, I suppose, and boop, run into a snowbank. Nothing like that. This is... Yeah. 
yeah, this this was interesting. So now it's all the worry of, you know, what, my car is kind of screwed. You know, the tire is basically slashed. Got to get a new one of those. Rear body work needs to be done. Call the insurance people. I got to get all this crap sorted out. I'll need to rent a car. I, you know, I'm scheduled to work tomorrow. I did call my boss about that shortly after the events. But... Oh, boy. Yeah, this is my debut of things. Me, personally, like, I'm still kind of coming down from everything, so it's like, am I in pain? No, I didn't have a broken window or nothing that, you know, no glass flew in on me or nothing like that. Um, I don't know, felt a little something just above my eyebrow, felt a little something down in my foot. I don't know, it's going to be one of those things where I'll wake up and feel it, you know, because it's kind of, even in general, you hit up a workout, and sure, you might feel that burn, but you're not going to feel that ow, that sore, until the next day, right? After an elongated time out of sleep, not moving. So yeah, I'm waiting for that, because I don't recall my head hitting the steering wheel or nothing. Airbag didn't deploy, you know. Um, trying to think of everything, you know. But it's like, I, don't, I didn't see any marks, I didn't, you know... Any little spot that I felt weird, I didn't know, no blood, nothing like that. Like, like I said, no glass, but I mean, even if I had hit somewhere, I don't recall. It all happened so fast, I know. <laughs> but, you know, for the time being, like, right now I'm okay. It's 10.30 at night now, so this happened four hours ago. Maybe the adrenaline's got to wear down a little bit. And who knows, like I said, in the morning, and i got to wake up early... Apparently, an uh, insurance representative is going to contact me about this and this, and then the rental car. Uh, such a mess. Such a mess. But, uh, well, I hope everybody else had a, you know, a good Christmas or Hanukkah, whichever you celebrate. Uh, hell of a way to get into the new year, though. It's, <laughs> when we talk about putting me behind the eight ball on this one, like, this is going to be an interesting little run coming up. But, I'll try to keep things posted, you know. For those of you that are concerned, that, that saw me write this down right away, I thank you for your concern. I sincerely do. You know, I might not be the most, you know, outspoken person on things of that matter, but thanks. I'm okay for now. It's only been four hours. You know, I don't even have anything to drink in the fridge, you know? All I got is water and coffee. I'm kind of jacked up the way it is now. I don't feel myself winding down anytime soon. So... Nothing much I can do on that account. It'll be interesting, though. But I'll keep you posted just, uh, well, how was your weekend? <laughs>